Hello and welcome back to another video in the world of Monster Hunter. Today is all about the Lance build progression and although I have only recently picked up Lance, as in the first time I've ever really played Lance is in Monster Hunter World, I feel I've got a pretty good-ish understanding of it. I'm kind of obsessed with this little run move so I'll probably do that a little bit too much but just for those Lance players out there, I get it. I really do get it, it is so much fun. Feeling like this impenetrable fortress that just stabs away at the monster until it dies, it's quite fun. Anyway, we're going to start out with what is pretty much the Billy basics of Lance and work up from there and I do hope this helps quite a few people out. So for the very first thing you're going to want to be doing is working on the Odegaran Lance. This is by far the best early game Lance and it even works well into the end game in case you can get some of the more meta Lances around. I'm only going for the general use Lances here, the elemental Lances, the Kia Lances are a bit um, interesting to build for so we'll be sticking with the general use for now and that these do work absolutely very well against pretty much everything minus things like Teostra, Malhazak and Luna which you'll be looking at some elemental lances I don't really know the progression for the elemental lances I've just sort of gone straight into the end game builds for them but I will post at the end the elemental lances for Teostra, Luna and Valhazak but there's going to be no progression for them. Anyway, in the meantime, let's have a quick look at the first Lance setups and work up from there. Now, like I said, the first thing you really want to be looking at is the Odegaran Lance, and for pre Elder matchups, you're going to be wanting to use the Rathalos Helm Beta, the Rathalos Male Beta, the Odegaran Van Braces Alpha, the Odegaran Coil Beta, and the Rathalos Greaves Alpha and you might want to start working on a handicraft charm this gives you weakness exploit level 3 critical eye, level, critical eye at level 3 handicraft depending on what level you have it and attack boost level 2 we've also got jump master in there which can be handy for your mounts and yeah that's basically really it for your standard build it gives you 90% affinity and a decent chunk of effective raw now Lance is one of the quickest build progressions going and it also is quite effective in how it all works as well. For example, the next one up is by utilising 3-piece Kaiser, that's from Teostra. So Kaiser Beta Helmet, Rathalos Beta Chest, Kaiser Beta Gloves, Odegaran Beta Waist and Kaiser Beta Boots along with the Master's Charm 3. This gives you Master's Touch. Critical Eye level 5, Weakness Exploit level 3, and you also get 1 point of attack boost because you've got that one attack decoration. Now this does have 100% affinity, so hopefully be making use of that Master's Touch, and a good chunk of EFR all the same. Now it is at this point where the uh, builds start to get a little bit decoration heavy, so you are going to want to start looking at maybe doing some uh, tempered monsters, preferably around tier 2. That's HR30+, plus things like Rathalos, Pink, Rathian, Odegaran, etc, etc. And hopefully, you can come up with a build akin to the next one. Now, this does trade a little bit of your affinity for higher output, but overall, the build does work better. So, as you can see, we've got the Garen Lance here. We're using affinity and damage. Feel free to put a health in there instead dragon king eye patch with a critical decoration doba male beta with a critical decoration kaiser van braces beta with a critical decoration kaiser coil beta with elementless and then kaiser greaves beta with an attack decoration we're also utilizing a attack charm three here simply because there are really no other better options and we're trying to keep our affinity up as high as possible for that masters touch as you can see we've got 411 effective raw so this build really does work quite well and if you're feeling brave we could essentially start farming behemoth at this point but 
that would be entirely up to you I would recommend trying to get some iron wall jewels in there as well maybe taking a bit of a damage cut for a little bit of survivability however if you've done some of the event quests something like this might be a little bit more preferred Odegaran Lance with Affinity and Damage, Kaiser Crown Beta with a Critical, Kaiser Male Beta with two Attack Decorations, Kaiser Van Braces Beta with a Critical, Empress Quill Beta with Elementless and Critical, only utilising that for the decoration slots, and then Dante's Leather Boots with two Attack Decorations, and then of course another Attack Decoration. Now this does sort of cycle around you having done Code Red for the Dante's gear, and the boots are certainly a very worthwhile addition into building up your builds into the late game and it also does mean you will have to have done Lunastra for your Empress Coil Beta as well as some serious decoration farming which you can see we have slightly higher EFR and we're still keeping the 95% affinity now from here we should be able to farm Draken and this is the part where it gets a little bit hefty because dragon can compensate for a lot of the skills so basically we're starting poverty again but using dragon as a base holder so from here we could use something a bit akin to this so as you can see this is pretty much bare minimum We've got dragon alpha helmet with an attack decoration kushala sister beta for your handicraft Draken Van Braces Alpha, Draken Coil Bit Alpha, and then Draken Grease Alpha. We're also utilizing an Exploiter Charm because, again, I don't really know what decorations you have. You might have been carried through Bayamov, you might have done it very early. For example, this is just something you are able to do with Draken very early on. It just requires an attack decoration and a tenderized decoration. Also, utilizing a damage and health augment in the lance itself. Now as I've already stated, basically we just worked backwards but utilising Draken. So if you did progress through the game at a little bit more of a steady pace and you have some better decorations, there are a multitude and plethora of things you can do here. I'm still trying to keep the basic setup of what was just previously shown, but you could go for something a little bit more out there or potentially push it a bit more or something along the lines of this. This is just simply an idea utilizing the exact same armor pieces but obviously we've got an elementless and a critical jewel in there as well this will give you master's touch critical eye level four attack boost level four critical boost level three weakness exploit level three two points of handicraft power prolonger for absolutely no reason whatsoever non-elemental boost a little bit of airborne but this is just something you could potentially go with if you are feeling a little bit brave you could in essence fill those three decorating slots that are empty with vitality if you're wanting to do something a little more extreme for some easier farming flawless for example for your three levels of peak performance and well however you really feel you want to go there is a multitude of options and this is basically the last of the poverty lineups what we have next is the ultimate in the end game for general use lance and it does require a little bit of arch tempered kushala so now we are in the end game and the results here are actually really quite funny it's the build you can see me using the video badly i might add and what we actually have here is the tariff crest claw with a health and damage augment Draken Alpha Helmet with an Elementless and Attack. Draken Mao Alpha with a Flawless. Draken Van Braces Alpha with two Tenderizer. Kushala Cocoon Gamma with two Attack. Draken Greaves Alpha with a Tenderizer and an Unscathed Charm. This gives us an effective roll of 495, 100% affinity, 511 defense. It is a seriously tanky build and if so needed those two attack charms you can drop out for iron wall wouldn't really recommend going for two you don't really ever really need one because guard level two is kind of redundant because not much needs it it's either like it goes one three and five basically in effect of monster hits and from here we really only have to worry about two monsters that's valhazak and Nostra simply because 
this is really all based around trying to utilize peak performance so trying to keep that damage up against Val Hazak and Lil Nostra that is a difficult difficult thing to do so what I have now are two interesting builds that I have not used yet but it comes from uh, the Mathalos nest so I'm not gonna dispute its effectiveness up first is Luna using the Kiart Crest Stream with a Health Augment and an Expert Decoration Kushala Beta Helmet with two Expert and Frost Kaiser Gamma Chest with a Critical Draken Alpha Gloves with a Critical and a Shield Kaiser Gamma Waist with a Frost and an Iron Wall and then Kaiser Gamma Boots with a Critical and Attack We're also utilising an Attack Charm 3 This gives 364 Effective Raw and a 95% Affinity Next up is Val Hazak with a Kiar Crest King, utilizing again Health Augment and a Blaze Decoration. Draken Alpha Helmet with a Tenderizer and an Expert. Draken Alpha Chest with a Tenderizer. Draken Alpha Gloves with a Tenderizer and a Critical. Draken Alpha Waist with a Challenger and a Nurga Gante Gamma Boots with two Challenger. And you finishing it all off, we have the Blaze Charm 3. Now I am fully aware that some of these builds are more interesting or difficult to come across so feel free to mix and match pieces as and where you can or as always build your way these are just simply suggestions and generally the most useful that the community has come out and sort of been like yeah that actually works so hopefully this will help you guys out anyway if you've enjoyed the video feel free to press the like button maybe subscribe it is free it really does help me out in the meantime though i do hope this has helped good luck have fun and don't die it's bad for the health